Welcome back. An upstate hospital has a new tool to use in the fight against COVID-19. Our Ayla Ferrone explains how a robot and the right light can make all the difference. An upstate hospital is adding an extra level of safety when it comes to cleaning their rooms following treating coronavirus patients. It's called the Light Strike Germ Zapping Robot, and it can kill germs, including coronavirus, on surfaces in less than five minutes. So this UV light, this broad spectrum, will kill viruses, bacteria, even mold spores. Robert Davis helps operate this robot at Bon Secours Hospitals and says the concept is pretty simple. What that does is in a matter of minutes, we can use this robot in a room and it'll kill coronavirus in a matter of four to five minutes using nothing but UV light. First, the team at Bon Secours will deep clean and disinfect the space. So we'll use it in offices, um, discharged patient rooms. We'll use it in ORs. When that's done, they send in the robot. We'll take the UV robot in. We'll set it up in multiple locations throughout a room, maybe once in the bathroom and once on either side of the bed to make sure that the light is directly hitting all surfaces available. It emits broad spectrum UV light, including UVC light. This is what the ozone typically blocks from coming to Earth. And so a lot of the viruses and bacteria haven't seen this spectrum of light before. So that's why it's effective. The machine was originally sent to Italy during peak cases there and now can be found in hundreds of facilities worldwide. Davis says it's all about adding an extra layer of protection for both patients and employees. Our team is here to help break the chain of infection. Bon Secours has two of these robots, which are the only ones here in the upstate. The brand was chosen specifically with fighting coronavirus in mind. Every surface has to be clean every time in order to slow the spread of any disease, specifically COVID-19 in this case. Bon Secours will be keeping both of these robots even after the pandemic, as they can be used for pretty much any type of germ or bacteria. I'm reporting in Greenville, Ela Ferrone, 7 News.